You know, one thing I try to never do in a video is I try to never specifically tell someone to buy a specific gun. I always tell people how much I like a gun, and if you want to go out and buy one, I would suggest you go out and buy one, but I never tell people to go buy it because I think that buying a gun is up to you and your taste might not be the same as mine. And I definitely don't promote gun shops or guns they have for sale because I'm not paid to. I would love to be paid to, but no one actually pays me. No one's willing to pay me. So I maintain my uh, credibility through uh, circumstance, not through desire. But tonight as I was sitting at home, you know, Googling some stuff on the computer, I'm doing some research, looking up really important stuff, you know, probably, you know, well, you know, it's none of your business while I was looking up. Let's just say I was Googling some very important stuff and I got an email. Now, this email was from Sooner State Arsenal saying that they are clearing out what I think is one of the best polymer guns ever made, if not the best polymer gun ever made, and probably one of the best guns, period, I've ever shot. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of polymer guns, especially not striker-fired polymer guns, but I do know there are some really nice polymer guns, even striker-fired ones. As I've said in the past, the Walther PPQ is an awesome striker-fired polymer gun, probably the best carry gun on the market that is polymer and striker fired you know and even if they're not striker fired polymer is still not my first choice for a handgun although i will have to say that one of my favorite carry guns ever is a polymer gun it's my beretta px4 storm this is an awesome carry gun even though it's polymer and that's my opinion because you know it checks all the boxes of things i like it's double action single action this one doesn't have a manual safety it's converted to a decocker you know all for all those reasons this is my favorite carry gun that's polymer but I don't think it's the best polymer gun. There's one gun that I think is the best polymer gun ever made, and this ain't it. Now, what I consider to be the best polymer gun ever is a gun that a lot of people have never even considered buying. And the ones that have considered buying it, a lot of people pass on it because it's too expensive. And that gun was the Arsenal Strike One Pistol. As you can tell by looking at it, this is a pretty unique gun. It's got a very low bore axis. It's got a rotating barrel. It doesn't flip. This gun is a dream to shoot it is amazing it holds a total of 18 rounds of nine millimeter and the only reason i don't think it's the best carry polymer gun ever is because it only comes in full size if this was a compact gun this would probably be the best polymer gun ever period even when you consider carry it would pretty much sweep the category of polymer guns but even though I think it's such a great gun, I know a lot of people never buy it because it's expensive. Like the one I just showed you was over $1,100 when I bought it. But in this email from Sooner State Arsenal, they're saying they're clearing them out. So they're like $699. And like I said before, I'm not getting paid to tell you this. Sooner State Arsenal doesn't know I'm saying this. In fact, I'll say one of their competitors, uh, Prepper Gun Shop, has them for $750 if you don't find one you like at Sooner State Arsenal. But if you're looking for one of these, now would be a great time to buy them. I'm honestly thinking these are not going to be imported anymore. Now, I know there's supposed to be a joint effort between them and some local companies to make an American-made version that even comes in a compact, but so far, I haven't seen anything really reassuring that it's actually going to happen. I really, really hope it's going to happen, and if they do make it, believe me, I'll buy a full-size one and a compact one, but right now, they don't even have a website. All I've seen is like a one-off working prototype that they had at SHOT Show. I've never seen any uh, evidence that this gun is actually in production or will ever be in production. But like I said, I'm very hopeful that it will be, and if it does come into production, I will buy it. And I would recommend other people buy it if they want one. But if you want one of the originals, or you're one of these people that's always wanted one, but doesn't really trust that they're gonna make the newer ones, then you might wanna buy one now. I know if I didn't already have one, I would definitely buy one now, and I'm thinking of buying another one, because like I said, for $6.99, you can get the all black one, or you can get the OD frame and the black slide. That's a really great price for these. I know that is a little bit more expensive than buying a Glock or something like that in a full size, but it's just so much a better gun. I can't tell you how much better this shoots than a Glock. The trigger is better. The ergonomics are better. It definitely handles recoil better, and it's a lot cooler looking if you ask me. This is a great polymer gun. I just can't say how much I like this gun and how much I think this is the best polymer gun I've ever owned. When I've weeded out almost all my polymer guns, this one and the Beretta are pretty much the ones I've kept. And of course, Gary, because if I try to sell him, that ain't gonna go so well for anybody, either me or the person that buys him. So those are the only guns I keep around that are polymer, and there's a reason for that. I keep those guns because I think those guns are special, and very special in a different way, but those are special guns, that's why I keep them. So if you're someone that's been thinking about a Strike One but thought they were too expensive at $1,100, well, you know, I don't fault you for that. I can see why they would be too expensive at $1,100. I was an idiot and had to have one right off the bat. I kind of wish I'd have waited now. But at $699, they're not bad. In fact, at $699, they're a great 
bargain, if you ask me. They're a great gun for $699. So if you've been wanting one and haven't wanted to spend that full price tag for them, that $1,000 plus for them, look for one now. Because like I said, they might not make the replacement gun that's supposed to be being made, and you might lose your chance to get one forever, or you might just want one of the originals. So if you do, now's the time to look for them. Now's the time to buy one.